actually had, I had to lose weight because I live in L.A. now. And honestly, I could lose another 50 pounds and still play fat guy number three. It's true. But L.A., it's, it's kind of taught me a lot of things. It's taught me this. If you're going to be in show, if you're fat and white in show business, you have to be British. You do. You have to be British. Adele, right, fat but gorgeous. I love it. Adele gave me this blouse. I had to take it in. I wear it all the time. We used to be very close in size. I love that blouse. Now that remember, there was, uh, remember Sam Smith? Was he a hit here, Sam Smith? He had that song, Stay With Me. It should have been called Stay With Me or I'll Eat This Whole Fucking Cake. Because when he had those armloads of Grammys, he, it might as well have been donuts because he was fat, okay? But then, because he's a gay, he lost all that weight. And then he won the Oscar for the James Bond theme song. He won that Oscar, and because he's a gay, and I know this, he left that award ceremony and went right home and shoved that Oscar right up his ass. He did! He did! Wouldn't you? I would. You could dine out on that story for weeks. And I'll tell you this, I know this from L.A., the Oscar is the only major award that is tapered for his pleasure. It is. Don't try that with an Emmy. Those wings will rip the shit right out of you. Oh, yeah. So anyway. So since I stopped eating so much, I shop all the time. I'm always buying T-shirts and shoes and all sorts of shit and stuff. And there was a while, I like to go to Target. Do we like Target? We do like Target, right? I love Target so much. I, they wanted us to do a gay boycott of them years ago before they, they, they did something that we didn't like. I don't know. You know, we're always getting upset about some shit. <laughs> so they told us we had to boycott Target. And I thought about it, and I realized I couldn't do it. I couldn't. I like shopping at Target way too much to boycott it. I do. And it dawned on me, they could change the name of Target to Die You Fat Faggot, and I still would shop there. I don't care. <laughs> I like Target. I have one complaint, though. I have one complaint. There was all that talk about the trannies in the bathroom, transsexuals in the bathroom. Sorry, the word tranny. Sorry about that. Transsexuals in the bathroom. There's never a goddamn transsexual in the bathroom when I want one. Never! <laughs> Go all the time, you never find fucking transsexual when you're looking for one. And no one helps you. You know, they don't. Where are the transsexuals? We don't know, sir. <laughs> I didn't drive to three targets for nothing. It's I'm looking for the girl with something extra. God damn it, find it for me. <laughs> it's too crazy. It's so, uh, it's good. But usually when I get to town, I like to explore with my tongue. And, shh, no, 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 not like that at all. So anyway, but I did, usually, but I found this place. We were in, where the hell were you? Springfield, Missouri. The best, now here's the thing. You do know that donuts are the new cupcakes, right? You know this? They are, and I'm telling you, and it, if you're fat and you don't know this, you're just not keeping up, okay? You're not. So get with the program, okay? It's true. So I found this place called Hertz Donuts. Oh, it's good. So anyway, those donuts were, they were so beautiful and so, some were covered in, in like glittery sugar and some were covered in sprinkles. Some were covered in, in breakfast cereal, you know, like Fruity Pebbles, which, which is my name on Grinder. Check it out. It's good. Fruity Pebbles. Look it up later. And those donuts were so beautiful and so delicious. I didn't know whether to eat them or fuck them. I didn't know. I didn't know. So I did both. I did. <laughs> Sir, do not have the glazed ones, okay? You, you never know. You just never know. I'm telling you. I don't have the attention span to give a good blowjob. I don't. I don't. I don't. I always want it to be over before he does. Always. Every woman in this room knows exactly what I'm talking about. <laughs> Everyone. Except the lesbians, and they stopped listening when I said cunt. So it doesn't matter. <laughs> no, because what I'm doing, and I think to myself, that pumpkin cheesecake in the refrigerator is not going to eat itself. Mm. 
then you focus, focus, focus. And then I think, you know, there's an episode of Bewitched on the DVR, and it's a good one, too. Uncle Arthur is in it. And then you start hearing that goddamn voice in your head while you're trying to do your work. You're hearing, what you're doing to that man's disgusting. <laughs> and that doesn't help. So it dawned on me. I give head like the Tootsie Pop owl. I do. One. And then fuck it, I just bite it. I do. He's old enough to finish it off himself. He knows how to work it. <laughs>